So I'm pretty sure that it is time that I replace an old friend. The morning process is over and I think today we're gonna go get a new GoPro again. Went to the post office today to pick up some mail and got a package here from Australia. Let's see what's inside. <laughs> oh my goodness, look at that. So if you're not familiar with this, let me explain it to you real quick. I had Throttle Down Under from Australia on the live stream not too long ago and I got punked. And Skid Pig in the comments just written drop bears. Yeah, there's something that are really scary over here. I don't know if you've seen a drop bear before. Uh, no, you're gonna have to explain that one to me. No, well, just 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 Google Google image a, a drop bear and you'll see what they're like. Yeah, they, they just fall out of trees. Oh, holy. So this, folks, is what he's talking about when he's saying a drop bear. The reason why they're so popular is because it's Australia's biggest joke. That's, that's just a photoshopped koala. It was so funny. If you haven't seen it, I'll put the link right up here so you guys can go check it out. But uh, yeah, Drop Bear, in my opinion, it's a real deal. Throttle Down Under, thank you so much for this. I will get a lot of use out of this for sure. And that's why I love the motorcycle community. In my opinion, I've said it before, it is one of the best communities out there. So if you are thinking about getting a bike, you will not regret it because this community is awesome. What's going on everybody? It is the Full Throttle Hog and I'm coming back to you with another video and we're gonna to touch base on exactly that. So for those of you that have been following along, you know that a few months back I went to a Starbucks, I came back out and somebody decided that they needed their GoPro a little bit more than I did. That was, that was a hard pill to swallow. I've been able to get by with the GoPro 8 but with the events coming up and Sturgis coming up, I just got to make sure I get all the camera stuff in order. I'm trying to minimize the things that I'm using these days just to make it a little easier to film. But we do need to replace that GoPro 9. So we're going to go over to Costco and we're going to pick one up right now. So I kind of have some mixed emotions about this, but I think it's gonna be okay. But right now we're gonna head back to the house. We're gonna pick up the wife because we're going to dinner tonight. And then we're gonna head over to bike night and I'll explain to you more on why I love the motorcycle community. Let's go. Oh, he's very excited. It's bloody hot. Okay, so we are at a place that's called Bubs. It's here in Pacific Beach. Pre-COVID, this actually used to be kind of a cool little biker hangout. They got the uh, motorcycle parking right here. Go in there, they got this little deck and patio area. Good place, grab a beer, grab a burger, and uh, have a good time. We have the wife today on another kind of motovlog thing as we talk about just how cool this motorcycle community really is and why you should get involved. Look who decided to join us. It's Megan. We are gonna have some food before going over bike night. So check out this bike though in this paint job, which matches the helmet, which is really cool. You come and tell. All right, so we are here at bike night. This happens on the third Thursday of every month here in the east part of San Diego. But more specifically, not only is it the people that are here, but just the motorcycle community itself. And I'm gonna give you this story. So, so along with that community, obviously we have different family members and sometimes, you know, there's challenging times. And just like everything, you know, families go through challenging times and, and, and sickness and uh, finances and things like that. But the motorcycle community stepped up for a girl named Emily. I was very honored to be a part of this event to raise money for Emily, uh, who's diagnosed with cancer, a very, very young age. So we took this area right here where we have bike night and we had a little fundraising event for Emily. I'm gonna show you the turnout of that event right now. Let me know what you guys think down in the comments. It's awesome, the motorcycle community, I absolutely love them. So check out this video, this was the tribute to Emily. Don't let them 
see a hint of fear Lines and dots, zoom in, zoom out Open your window, let them hear you shout Right on the poles, right on the street Always remember the future is near Cut some cores, scratch some scars Put on your cape and jump from the car Don't stop at the end You can be anything you want So truly from the bottom of my heart, um, thank you. And I know seeing all those bikes ride by this morning um, uh, just, just uplifted my daughter. And uh, it's truly appreciated. So thank you very much. That is going to do it for today's video, folks. Thank you very much. If you haven't already, hit subscribe down below. Hit that bell icon so you know every single time we do a video. And until next time, you guys ride safe. Be safe. We'll catch you on the next one.